One of the most useful tools for customizing the look and behavior of your Excel data is cell formatting. First, you want to select the cells that you want to format. This can either be a singular cell, an entire column, an entire row, or a range of cells. Today, we're going to be looking at our current balance compared to the starting balance. We can see that we have divided the starting balance by the current balance, and the default format is a decimal. But if we wanted to view this comparison in a percentage, we can right click that cell and go into the format cell menu. Here, we can see that we have a number of categories. We have number, currency, accounting, date, time, percentage, fraction, scientific, text, special, and custom. We know that we want to see the percentage menu, and we can see here that we can adjust the number of decimal places. We can either increase the number of decimal places, as seen in the preview box of how it will appear, or decrease the number of decimal places. When you're satisfied with the decimal places, you can press OK. You can also format numbers as a fraction. We will right-click the cell we want to format, go into the Format Cell menu, and this time we'll find the Fraction category. In the preview box, we can see that there's a number of options. We'll choose up to two digits to see a two-digit fraction for our number. You can also format numbers as currency, dates, and times, along with other options. We're going to look at how to format currency. You can right-click the cell and go into Format Cells. Here, we can go to the Currency category, and you can change the symbol for the currency that you want to use. Today, we'll use the US dollar. You can also adjust the decimal places, so you can either have a whole dollar or both of these cents. And you can also choose how negative numbers are displayed. We'll maintain the default for now, then press OK. You can also format the date in Excel. In Excel, dates and times are stored as integers. So this is the integer for the most recent purchase, 11 2020 So let's see how we can display this with formatting. We'll right-click the cell, then go into Format Cells, and here we can go into the date category. We can see that we can have the numerical date, we can have the text date, along with other options. Here we're going to choose the month, the day, and the year, then press OK. You can also format the cell's color and other options in the Format Cells menu. For example, for this cell, we can choose to change the alignment, and we can change how the text orientation appears. We can go into the font and change the font here. You can go and change the border of the cell to any of these options and choose where you want that border to appear. You can also change the fill color and change it to any color or any pattern. You can also choose to protect a cell. This will lock a cell and make it unable to be edited by another person. So we'll press OK. We can see that our text is now at that three degrees, and the formatting of the cell is that light yellow color with the dotted border. We can either keep that or undo it and change how that cell is formatted by going back into the Format Cells menu, click Alignment, or change the font, or change the border. Let's say that we wanted to choose the dotted border on the outside with a light blue fill. We can press OK and we can see that cell has been formatted. The dotted border is small, so we'll zoom in, and you can see that there is indeed a dotted border, and that is how you format cells in Excel.